Hey guys, Tommy Gantz here. Well, I have another post um, that kind of is along the same lines as what we posted last about the fall ball anxieties. But this one really isn't just pertaining to fall ball. Um, but this just happened to me a, a few days back and I just felt compelled to talk to you about it today. And that was um, the situation was where we have a 12U uh, travel team going on in the fall. And we had a couple parents that had committed you know, to playing on the 12U team. And at the last minute, uh, when they found out that we had some 10-year-old you know, players just getting ready to turn 11, basically a year younger playing up on the team, uh, they elected not to play on the team because they wanted their um, you know, sons to play with older players, you know, all senior 12-year-old players, so they went to a, a different program. Now, let me say that uh, these are absolutely wonderful kids. Uh, I've coached them. I've uh, you know, given them private instruction in the past. Uh, wonderful family uh, families, and I don't have any ill feelings toward that at all. I want to you know, set that straight. Um, but after it happened, uh, the next day, it was just kind of, you know, bothered me a little bit as, as you know, I, let me just, you know, go back and say that these two players, um, their personalities, great, wonderful kids, well-rounded kids, but I wouldn't call them on the outgoing side. I would call them even a little bit more on the, on the shy side. And uh, uh, having known that, I really think that uh, what I was thinking about the next day is this was, a, in my opinion, uh, a, uh, an opportunity, I think, that the parents really missed out on because um, these two players would have been two of the senior players on this team. And playing with, um, you know, having a good portion of the team younger players, this could have been a great time for these uh, two young boys to really develop leadership qualities and leadership skills. Um, so that kind of was just festering with me the next day. I never contacted the parents again. I, I respect their decision. I, I've been there. I've been in their shoes. I've made those same decisions myself. Um, but I, I felt compelled to do this because I want to kind of talk to you a little bit about uh, how important it is for your son as he moves up the ranks in, in, in those different baseball uh, levels that he learns to develop leadership qualities. And for the most part, if we constantly kind of push them uh, to the higher levels and push them to play at, at, at higher levels because we feel that their skill sets are, are, are ready for that and they're capable of competing at those higher levels, a lot of times, their personalities don't quite go along with their skill sets. You, you guys know. I mean, we have. I mean, I have three boys that are very different personalities, and some, uh, you know, are, are personalities are really just outgoing. You can throw them in a bunch of kids that are two years old, them, and they'll they'll float to the top. They'll be one of the more outspoken ones. And and if that's uh, the case and that's great they can socially fit in with uh, you know with older kids and, and and again socially you know fitting in socially doesn't really mean that you're going to be a leader either so um, what I just kind of wanted to challenge you today is really um, don't forget about uh, your the opportunities uh, that you might come across to really put your son or your daughter in a position where they can really learn and develop leadership skills and qualities now uh, for the most part I believe that's going to come with playing with kids a little bit younger sometimes because it's just going to be inherently natural that they take on a leadership role when they're playing with younger players. It's going to give them just a, a you know a, an instant uh, feeling of, of self-confidence playing with younger players um, so uh, you know a fall could be a great time for that since fall is as we talked about before not quite as competitive as uh, as it is in the spring and the summer maybe fall's a great time to kind of stay at the at the level you're at play with some younger players that are playing up as many players do in the fall and here's a great time where you can be a senior player and 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 as a coach or a parent really uh, intentionally put your child in a position where they're going to be forced if you will to be one of the senior players one of the leaders on the team these leadership qualities and skills will really help them tremendously when they get on into the high school and especially the collegiate ranks. So, uh, you know, and again, this isn't just a fall thing. A lot of you, uh, you know, parents or coaches out there are put in a position or, or put yourself in that position where you, uh, you know, uh, allow your child in the spring or the summer uh, to play up. They could be 9 and 10 playing up in the 11 or 12 year, year old division or, or there's so many different scenarios out there but they play up in the spring and the summer um, you know to challenge them athletically uh, but sometimes um, you know they really don't grow as a leader because they kind of fall in that middle of the pack if you will in the way of personality and they kind of sometimes they can actually fall between the cracks so yes they might be able to compete from a skill set standpoint but if they're not growing as uh, growing emotionally and especially building those leadership qualities that you would like, well then, you know, maybe we're, that might not be the best thing for them at that time, especially if it's an earlier age. So 
I didn't want to contradict the last post we made. Uh, I don't want to add this to your anxiety, uh, but I just felt since this kind of happened to me and it was kind of, you know, on my heart a little bit the last few days, I just thought that I wanted to, you know, just make you aware. Sometimes, you know, we, we, we constantly are always thinking about the physical uh, attributes of our players and the, and, the, and the physical skills. And sometimes we can kind of forget about that emotional side and the emotional growth that uh, really needs to go along with that. So I just wanted to throw it out there, something for you to really think about and just, I I just want to encourage you that any chance you get to really seize that time where you can kind of keep your um, child in what you think is a competitive, competitive environment, but put them in a situation where they can take on that leadership role, it will pay big dividends down the road, I promise you. Until next time.